Ryan, interesting game Saturday night, tail of two halves. Just kind of take us through. Uh, first half um, was a lot better than the second half. I don't think it was anywhere um, what we wanted or expected to have. You know, defense played phenomenal the first half. I mean, they came out, crossed the ball, um, got off the field, gave us good field position, and we just did not put the ball in the end zone enough. And I think um, that's hard to do in this conference. You, know, you got offenses that can score points, uh, can stay on the field for long periods of time. So, you know, when we get the ball back, we got to, you know, make the best of it, put the ball in the end zone. And uh, we didn't do that. It should have been at least 21-0 at half, which would have made a complete difference. But um, second half, you know, I'm sure Coach said it, we came out late in eight. You know, we didn't do anything um, to help the defense out or let alone uh, win the game. How was the attitude of everybody today? Good. I think uh, we moved on well. I think uh, watching film today was tough, um, including myself. You know, I missed way too many throws that could have made a difference. Um, certain plays I could have, you know, got rid of the ball, not taking a sack, and had you know shorter play to go against. So um, it was tough, but at the same time, you know, each week's a learning experience. I think that helps us out each week. It's definitely tough that it was a loss, um, but I think this Thursday turnaround is going to be nice to get back on the field as fast as possible. Obviously, the hope on those plays you're holding the ball maybe gives somebody just an opportunity to get a little more open, get a guy further down the field, something like that. I mean, were you seeing things that you think, I'm almost there, I've almost got right. it? Uh, you all, you're always thinking somebody's going to pop open at the same time. Um, you know, Coach always preaches, you know, the clock's going to go off in your head. You know, you just got to know if that guy's not there, you go through your progression, they're not open, you can't get out of the pocket, ball's got to be out of bounds, and you need to go on to the next play. You know, you can't sit there and hold the ball. Um, and put the team in the bind and put more stress in the whole line. You know, they're fighting their tails off down there, uh, trying to hold blocks. I'm sitting that back there, you know, holding the ball too long. And, you know, it's tough. You know, you got guys slapping, punching the face, doing whatever they can to get to me. And, you know, they're sitting there fighting their tail off. So I just got to know, get the, get rid of the ball and move on. Talk about the defensive line for Western Kentucky, how much speed they had. They really had good <clears throat> closing speed. Uh, you usually can make some moves and get out, but it, they swarmed on you pretty good. Right, they're a very good team. Uh, they run the ball well. They never stopped. Um, and, and that was something that worked to their advantage. Um, but at the same time, I think that goes back to us making plays. You know, I think um, we hit a throw here or there, um, get rid of the ball, you know, not let them, you know, get that momentum with a sack or a negative play. I think it, it definitely changes the game. I noticed over the course of the game, you slid at one point and got drilled into the turf while you were flat on your back sliding. Now, I guess some people get protected and some people don't. I remember at one point Coach Freeze actually saying, we told Ryan don't slide anymore because you get hit when you slide. Right. Later on in the game, you just plowed through people. I mean, you continue to just, you know, go Jim Brown on your next few opponents, try to run over them. Right. I think uh, there's times you got to get down, you know, times when you know you need the extra yards and third down and stuff like that. Um, sometimes it feels like you get harder when you slide, um, but it's part of the game. You know, it's a physical game. Um, the rest are definitely going to make the best decision. You know, they're out there, they're the pros. So um, if it's not called, I mean, I guess it's not a penalty. I've got to move on to the next play. And I think the um, big thing is, you know, those are hard to look past. But at the same time, um, it happens everywhere. You know, you're going to get hit. It's part of football, and you just got to deal with it. And like I said, move on to the next play. You know, you can't sit there and gripe about it. You know, that's what, um, you know, hurts you as a team. You know, you see, you know, you're another player complaining about not getting this call, you know, just line up and play football. I think Q Lee's actually going to send that video to the conference <laughs> office just for kicks and giggles, see what yeah. happens. That would be good. Talk about the uh, long run and the block of David Oku for you. I think uh, not only David's block, I think the Josh block. had somebody held up down there. Not held, uh, but not blocked. Held. Yeah. Uh, I think um, it was just a great play. Great call at a good time. Um, I think if you go back and watch, you know, I had – could have fit a semi or two in the hole that I got to run through. And guys just making blocks. The whole line really had really good push, got to their backers, um, opened up a lane. You know, it's probably a good thing David out there because I'm not fast enough to kind of make anybody else miss. So it was a good thing I got out to the side. And um, David made a great block. You know, I got downfield. Josh still fighting his tail off 20, 30 yards downfield. Um, and and that's, what, that's what, you know, wins football. I think Coach always talks about that guys going the extra mile. Um, stand on their blocks. You never know when somebody's going to break, and um, luckily my slow tail broke one, and I got some good blocks downfield.